Okay, let's see how the non-essential nutrient could be made by the body. For instance, uh, this one is over here that you see as an amino acid. Uh, one of the amino acid which is called glomatic acid. Uh, we know already from our courses that an amino acid consists of an amino group and it consists of a carboxyl group and it consists of a functional group which is shown yellow so this yellow is the functional group or side chain this one is the amino group and this one is the carboxyl group now suppose I have another molecule over here and this molecule is not an amino acid so this is not an amino acid this one is an amino acid what if I take this amino group from here and transfer it to this one and then I will remove one of the bonds from here and then I will add a hydrogen over here so I took an amino group from this amino acid and I transferred that to this organic molecule that's called keto acid that's not an amino acid by transferring this amino group and hydrogen here what do I make? I make another amino acid now we call this amino acid and tyrosine so in transamination I took this one and made a new amino acid so this amino acid tyrosine it's a non-essential amino acid why is it non-essential amino acid? because it could be made from other amino acids in this case I took glutamic acid and I took this amino group of glutamic acid and I attached it to the keto acid and I made the new amino acid so this will be considered as non-essential amino acid and that's how the body produces it